Recently I heard that uh, Boston is trying to pass a law that uh, will make it so they can take my dog from me because he's a pit bull. Today for a bill that's hitting the pull off on 969, it's against bully breeds. It'll basically put cities to make their own laws to um, breed, ban any dog they want. It's ridiculous. Every every rescue center you go to is loaded with pit bulls because they're a very malign breed. It's the owners that aren't so nice. Well, they're obviously thought of as being aggressive, um, and it's definitely not only the dogs. I know in our hometown, I can't remember which breed is exactly, but there's a couple um, variations, I guess, that are bad. Uh, they're not bad, but they're called restricted. So you need like a certain type of liability insurance, and uh, you have to have a muzzle on them at all times. Um, but most, for the most part, where we're from, uh, it doesn't matter what type of dog you have. We're a group called the ESL Awareness Walk. Oh, that's so, so cool. Out here to Proof to everybody that our pit bulls are Oh, they're so cute. Look at that. Hey, buddy. Um, so nice. This is important. Hey, yeah, they're nice. I definitely want to be here because this is like part of my family, and like I can't allow anybody to like separate me from my family. It's my second pit bull, and I'll never have a different other dog. I mean, they are the best dogs. Uh, I know. Yeah, I show a lot of love. I'm just walking along and I see one beautiful dog and then another beautiful dog and then another and then I notice that they're all pit bulls and they just keep coming and coming. So I was just very moved and very curious about what this was and it was just to kind of give people an awareness about pit bulls and that they're beautiful dogs when they're well trained and they have good owners and connecting it to some legislation that I'm not terribly aware of but that I know I'd heard some things about anti-pit bull stuff but it's very touching and very moving to see these beautiful friendly dogs being walked through the streets and it just felt good. I think all these dogs are beautiful dogs and they've never hurt anybody as long as you treat them right they treat you right. Right Pablo? Right Pablo? I got a uh, Winston Harry, he's my service dog so he's uh he gets to go with me wherever, so I always have to, uh, him to use as an example as a good pit bull that can be in society. We want everyone to see our dogs, really, is what it comes down to. And to see that they're like every other dog. And there's no reason to be setting up laws that are against certain breeds. Um, it should be about the dog itself. If there's an issue with the dog, that's something that needs to be dealt with. Yes, I'm not ignoring that, but it shouldn't be held against dogs that are not reactive or whose at, uh, owners are taking care of them and working with them and walking them appropriately and making sure that they're, the dogs are safe and other dogs are safe and people around them are safe. Come here. Come here, this way. Come here, come here. Cheating. Yo, let money loose. Money, get, get, get. I got Max a year ago from Blizz. He helped me get this pretty, pretty boy. And honestly, like the minute I got him, he was just full of love. No problems. Never attacked anyone or any other dog or any child. He's the friendliest fucking thing you will ever meet in the world. He's the sweetest boy and he's really just a big baby. And he's a Pisces so he drinks like a fish. I think pit bull owners, real pit bull owners should really take care of their dogs and make sure that they change the name for these pit bulls because it's, it's fucking up their breed name and I think it's it's kind of sad. I mean we have these dogs, they're here for a reason. Somebody should own them, somebody should take care of them and they shouldn't be looked down upon because of what other people have done with them. Bully breeds can count for more than just pits. We're talking German Shepherds, Rottweilers, Dobermans, Bulldogs. Those are all bully breed dogs. But to the public when you mention a bully, the first thing that comes to mind is a pit bull, which is not true. And um, Think about it. A pit bull is less aggressive and less vicious. And I mean, they, they all dogs have excitement. You know, if you're a big dog, yeah. If you if you have a big dog, he's gonna be excited because that's what dogs do. You know, when people say bullies, oh, it's just the pits, it's the pits. It's like, no, the pits are the best dogs in the world. I, I can see. They didn't use them for fighting. That was until like 
you know, until they started hunting and you started killing boars and shit like that. You want to bring pitbulls along because they're agile, they're fast, and, you know, they can take down a boar. A wild boar is no joke. You know I mean, you're going to need three or four pits to handle one of them. From that, that's where they got the idea of let's fight them. Let's put them, you know, let's put two pits together that are completely excited and let's train them from birth to be vicious towards the next dog. And then we're going to throw them in a ring and just see the outcome. Obviously, one of them is going to die, but fuck it. I'm going to throw money down on it and I'm going to get money. So, you know what I mean? That's not what we're about. Pitbulls wore Stratford Shire Terrier. <laughs> they were originally used, um, one of the dogs was originally used in the Civil War as a messenger dog. They weren't, they, they weren't, weren't bred dogs. for that. They yeah, weren't bred they for fighting. fighting. They were bred for, for their agility and their, you know, exactly. their family dogs. They're actually family dogs. They can them. tolerate little kids, you know, nagging at their oh. ear, doing this. Let me grab you. Oh, let me think that you're a cat and grab you. You know what I mean? A, a little kid can't do that with a cat. Just grab them up or let me pick them up and you get clawed up. With a pit, I bet you bring one of those little kids over here, they'll con completely cuff a pit bull. I mean, kid, and dog want a kid. But pit bulls are, are nice billy breed because they're big, they can handle things like that. And, and just by natural instinct, they protect. You got people like us who are educated, people like us who know about pits, and we're trying to get the message that, you know, pit bulls ain't fighting dogs. You only have those ignorant people who think, oh, you got a, a, a pit bull and automatically means a vicious attack or some type of dog that's gonna just kill whatever little dog you have. In reality, no, the little dog that you have is worse than my pit bull. You know what I'm saying? That little dog will stay barking all day. You ever walk down the street and as you're walking, people have their little dogs and their little dog is just spazzing out, just barking. And, oh, oh, and the owner goes, don't worry about him, he's a little dog. You know what I'm saying? And while you're walking with your pit, your pit don't even care. You know what I'm saying? So if uh, every owner of a small dog, if they treat their dog like a pit, they wouldn't have a problem. You know, don't judge a book by its cover. You know what I mean? Like, and don't penalize the whole breed from one dog's mistake. Because that one dog probably got in a fight with another dog. Why would you penalize the whole, the whole breed? The whole breed specific, not just the group, but oh, that one dog bit the other dog, so they all mean. They're all bad. You can train your dog as good as you want it to be, but some dogs just don't like other dogs. For instance, I have Cash over there, and I have to keep him separate and Bella because they're not dog friendly. You know what I mean? Her, she's straight. Look, I got the leash off, but she don't even care if these dogs are around. You know what I'm saying? So certain dogs can be dog friendly with another dog. That's just what they do. Other dogs just don't like other dogs around them. You gotta understand every dog has its own personality the same way every human does. You know what I mean? Your personality is different from mine. So you can't sit there and judge one some somebody else's dog who purposely meant to, you know, to fight him and keep him vicious and for him to get in the ring and be a champion and all that extra shit. You know what I mean? Like you can't penalize the whole breed for that. That's just dumb.